Greetings folks, this is a overview of the Smeghead Canard Pusher. This is uh, sort of an experiment, um, an investigation of different designs for the original Ansley Peace Drone from Experimental Airlines. The differences are I have a central fin, I have turned up wing tips and elevator on the canard. Now my fuselage is uh, what's it called, core flute, corrugated plastic, three millimeter. Hot wire cut and tape covered uh, canard and wing. I did some pre-visualization in SketchUp, which is a really good free 3D drawing app from Google. Uh, so that helped me sort of work out the reasonable dimensions, something that looked okay. My wingspan is, the cent center section is 70 centimeters with 18 centimeter tips and they're tilted up 30 millimetres at the tips. Canard is just half that wingspan, uh, 503 millimetres. Core to the canard is 150, core to the main wing is 170. Uh, the elevator goes all the way across and that's a 30 millimetre elevator. The ailerons are 40 millimetre and they're about 29 centimetres, I guess. The tail is just glued on to the wing. Uh, and that's just rubber banded onto the fuselage. The canard is on a little pedestal there, uh, just so that I've got enough clearance to give me some down elevator, which is actually lifts the nose up by going down. That's one thing you have to be aware of. Got a big hatch cut in the middle there, and that's so that I can fit in uh, INAV flight control board. I can put the battery in that way, or I can put the battery in from the front. Uh, and I have a soft foam nose cone for impact resistance. There's the battery there sitting on a sitting on a core flute piece of plastic and a couple of it's all velcro holding it in place, a couple of sort of foam blocks just to stop it from sliding backwards and forwards. I did need to make up a, a power lead extension, but that's no drama. Won't need that when the INAV flight control board is in there. So that's a 2200 4S. It can take any sort of battery from 1300 3S right up to 3000 4S. We've got all the room we need for uh, adjusting the CG. Now initially when I started mucking around with this, I thought the CG would be right in the middle. That's kind of what Ed roughly said. And I found that where I had it was way too nose heavy, uh, which caused me to crash in the previous video. Uh, you can go back and have a look at that if you haven't seen it. Uh, survived the crash fine, it was no dramas at all. So uh, what I did was I went to the online uh, canard model CG calculator. Uh, here's a screenshot of it here and plugged in my values and it told me that the CG needed to be 340 back from the leading edge of the canard, which is right about there. And so in this next flight you'll see how it went. It went, it went much, much better with that, much more uh, pitch control which I didn't have last time. Uh, in the previous video, when I went into a turn, it would lose altitude and I, I just couldn't keep it up uh, as much as I wanted to. Some other things, I've got the uh, ESC sort of sitting halfway in to the fuselage there to get nice cooling. Motor is the motor from the ZOHD Dart, which is a 2216 1300 kV and I have a nine by 4.5 prop, I think that is. Yeah, nine by 4.5, which matches it very nicely. <clears throat> 3S or 4S seems to be able to handle it well. This uh, core flute fuselage, it's, it's a fair bit heavier than uh, Depron or foam board, but that still seems to work okay. And it is bulletproof, basically. It's waterproof, really tough. It is a little bit flexible, so you can get a little bit of flexing in the fuselage. I probably need to put a bit of cross bracing inside. Uh, I did do some reinforcing inside here, uh, cutting that big hatch. Receiver is just sitting on the side right about there. I think for FPV, I'm going to put the FPV camera up on the, on the fin so I get a nice view because I haven't got a big wing uh, obscuring the view like normally you normally would if you had the FPV camera up there. Maybe even the transmitter up there as well. Okay, spars, I have a 3mm by 0.5mm strip spar in the bottom there 
in the main wing I have a 6mm by 1mm carbon fibre spar in the bottom. No spar in the wingtip area there, that's just uh, glued on with hot glue and taped. That's perfectly fine. I also have a 3mm by 0.5mm spar in the top, a little bit of extra stiffness, that's plenty stiff enough. Tail is again 3mm core flute, flexes a little bit but seems to be fine, we'll see anyway. A little bit of depth on either side just to uh, give her a wider base for gluing onto the wing. So that's about it for the moment, let's go and have a look how the follow-up flight went uh, and I'm pretty impressed with it now, really like it, it's working well. Going for another flight of the Smeg head. I have the CG back further where it should be, according to the Canard CG calculator. Uh, I also have some snap flaps on the switch, so I can see if that helps the uh, pitch control a bit more. Uh, increase the size of the prop too. Here we go. So we've got a lot more control with the CG back further. It's a lot more twitchy. It's good. Uh, could do a little bit less maybe. CG a little bit further forward might be nice. but it's certainly not dropping the nose. This is with a 2200 3S. Flying nicely now. Let's try the snap flaps. Much more pitch authority, that's very nice. Bit of wind around. Yeah, that's better. Can do a nice loop. Yeah, flying nicely now. Much improved. Certainly a lot more um, nimble. Let's try it for us. Yeah, you can glide on past. All right, let's go again. I'll push the CG forward a little bit more. It's just that little bit rock and rolly. It's pretty good though, I like it. Gliding now, motor off. <laughs> you can almost lay, land it tail first. That's cool. So, 2200 4S now. 310 milliamp hours. That's nice. 7.8 amps. 2.6 amps. Okay, we're in control. 1.2 amps. 8.4 amps. 3.2 amps.
So that's a definite improvement with the CG back further and the bigger prop and the snap flaps to assist with pitch. Excellent. Now to put some FPV on it. Thanks for watching.